It is auction day. Uh, th so, actually, it kind of sucks because a local farmer, uh, Jim Davis, I don't know if any of you guys know him, uh, but he's, uh, he's another township over from here, and he's retiring. So, that means he's having a sale. We got, cool, we got a couple cool features in here, so if you enjoy the video, smash that like button. I got a couple cool people in here. We got an auction here, so it'll be, it'll be pretty fun. We're trying to make it as realistic as possible. So if you guys would, please help me out with the YouTube algorithm and smash that like button. But at this auction, there's actually something I was kind of wanting. It's another, there's a, there's a lot of different stuff. There's a 49.55, there's a 47.55. They're pretty much brand new and have 100 hours. They're 89, 1989. And he got him a year a year ago. Oh gosh, we might have to stop at the car wash on our way over there. We can't show up to an auction with a dirty pickup truck. That is uh that is a no go. You can't do that. So crop report update real quick as we head over there. I think we got 20 minutes till the auction starts, so we gotta get our butts over there. Oh, I'm glad I can give the birds a nice snack. Just eating my seed over there. But here we got this planned as all all corn. I got everything planned. We got corn in here, we got corn in the ground, and I'm pretty happy because we're making progress. We still got time to plant, so we're all good. If I come home with another tractor, somebody please take away my checkbook. Because, my gosh, I'm going to want to buy one of those. There's a nice 4755 and a nice 4955. Front wheel assist, so you wouldn't have any problem. Checking with uh, 97.3. Let's play some music. Welcome back. This is Doug at 97.3. The goalie best country hits of the 80s and of course as our sponsor chevy you want all the girls in the world get a gosh dang chevy chevy built like a rock and i do have to give a big shout out to my my one of my good friends jim davis he's retiring from farming he's having a retirement sale day over on 100th avenue jim was a real real good man he's a good farmer and is a gosh dang good american citizen vote for reagan back in 80 and 84. give it up for jim davis this is doug 97.3 The Goldie, out. Up next, on the road again, by Willie Nelson. So here's, uh, here's the farm. They even got the sign out front there. Yeah, it's a century farm. I don't think he's selling his farm, though. He's been farming. His, it's been his family for over 100 years, and it sucks seeing a farmer going to retirement. It really does. Uh, but tough times comes, and good ret retirement's good sometimes. You made it. You can retire. You don't have to keep working. It's good. But, I mean, who really wants to retire from farming? Ah, uh, looks like some guys beat me here already. Man, so there's a Ford. That's that 4955. Looks brand new. Old Alice. And gra DMI gravity wagons. That's something we need across the farm. They look beautiful. Looks like all the guys are parking back here. 4755, that was on the sale bill, but I don't, somebody must have been testing that tractor out. Just sitting right there. Oh, all Chevys, it looks like. Not gonna lie, those are some nice pickup trucks. Got chicken feed in the back. Hey! Maybe Grant knows. Austin, Jake, how you guys doing? Hey, how's it going? Hey, doing all right. Good. I got a question for you. Oh, look at that cocky guy rolling in with his trailer. Oh. He thinks he's gonna oh, buy something. He's gonna buy something. <laughs> who, who the heck is that? Is that Clutch? That might be Hank. Where's that Hank? Hank hey, hey, uh, we're, we're just commenting on this, uh, this, this, whatever this thing is on the top of the truck here. Yeah, Any what idea? is this? What is that? I, I don't know what that is. I no idea. That must be some new technology right there. And we have the sale bill on them. Does it say what it is on the truck? You got the sale no bill? No idea. I, I have no idea. He tried to open up the here. truck, but it was locked. I think there's a, there's a couple sale bills over here on the table. What you see in here? So it's showing Chevy K30. It's a K30, right? Yeah, it's yeah. got yeah. got forty thousand miles on it. They took the bed off. Been hasn't been worked hard. They say, I guess. This has got an aftermarket light bar. Good evening, um, ladies. That's I what told it you is. It was a light. Okay, so I it's told a light. It was a light. Those must be that's new then. Crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. Hank, how's it going? Going pretty good. How about yourself, Jake? Oh, doing all right. Just heard there was an auction. Figured I'd come out here, see what the gist was. Hank's yeah. walking in with his fat checkbook. You ready to buy some stuff, Hank? Yeah. <laughs> I'm hoping I can buy something. What are you, what are you looking at buying, much, Hank? Eh, possibly a flatbed just for males. Okay. Hmm, flatbed. All right. So what you're saying is I need to ride that price up. <laughs> what you're saying is because I'm looking at that flatbed. That's what I'm oh. looking at. Oh, I see. We're going to have to have a 
little bit of a competition here. Oh, uh, depending man. on how far you guys are willing to go. We'll see what we can do. Anybody know when the uh, the auction begins here? I think it starts in five minutes or so. Yeah. Oh, where the heck's well, the auctioneer I, I at? Better, uh, I better get my, my bid number here. Hold on. Yeah, let's get our bid numbers. Yep. Yeah. Let's grab a... Hey, that's my paddle. Yeah. There's two lines. No, that's the month. Which one. That's the month. Oh, uh, what? That isn't okay. that. Oh, and then here's man. bid number. What? We got bid number 96. I got uh, uh, 69. Of course you did. You just copied me. You just you just copied me, but flipped the numbers upside down. I got okay. 35. Oh, you're funny. <laughs> sure he did. You I let me know when you get a little more mature over there. 102. 102. Yeah, I don't know. This guy breaking triple digits. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is my pleasure to be here. My name is Auctioneer Sam from the Madison County Auctioneers right here in Iowa. We have the privilege today in honor of selling the living estate of Mr. Jim Davis. He's a, been an integral part of this community for many, many years. And it is once again our honor and privilege to be here today in front of you all. As was with all of our auctions, they will be sold as is, where is. No contingencies. What you see is what you get. And when the hammer drops, you will be the new owner of whatever you have bid on. As always, everything we sell does come with a 5% buyer's premium that will be attached to the price. So if you buy something for $100, the 5% buyer's premium would be $5, $200, 10 and so on and so forth. Without any further ado, we got a lot, a lot of great equipment and items for you today. We're going to start the bidding first off right here on this red International Harvester flatbed that you see in front of you. How much? How about what are you gonna pay for it? How about 2,000? How about 2,000? Anybody, anywhere, two, two, two. How about 1,500? How about 15? Anybody, anywhere, 15, 15, 15. How about 1,000? Get us 1,000 now, 12, 1,000, 12, 50, 50, hey, but about 1,500, hey, but a bit, 12, 50, now, 15, 12, 50, 15, 15, hey, but a bit, hey, but about 12, 50, 15, 1,500. 17, 50, 1500, 17, 50, 17, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, that seems like a lot of money for that. I don't know. I'm just saying. That's pretty <laughs> stressful. Yeah, you want to smoke? You want a camel? Yeah, yeah. I love one. I think you just bought that thing twice over, boy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know what? I wasn't about to let Hank have it, okay? I hope, I hope it comes full of fuel for you. Uh, <laughs> let me check. What you see is what you get. It's totally correct. Hey, don't it smoke does. by the fuel tank. <laughs> what are you talking about? There's no, there's no problem with that. No, he's going to go woof. All right, there. 79 Chevy K30, 40,000 miles on her barely broken in flatbed with some new technology on the hood right there. Ah, but they say it's a light bar. I ain't seen it, but you got to see it to believe it. How much are you going to pay for? How about $5,000? Anybody, anywhere? 25. Let's play 500. 500 early and often. 250. 5,500 now, 750. 5,750. He would have made he would have 5,750. 35,750. Last chance, fair and final. Anybody, 35,750. 96. Uh, $4,000 now, 4,250. He would have 4,250. 4,000. Make no mistake, bid is right 35. here. Bid number 96. 96. Now, Give me five grand, auctioneer. For $5,000. <laughs> I knew we'd be back. 5250 Last chance. Fair and final. 5250 and a half. Sold. $5,000. Yes. Sold. $5,000. Zero. Nine six the buyer. Zero. Nine six the buyer. I'm pretty sure you could buy that brand new for that, can't you? Yeah, probably. She's got that light bar on there. I guess that light bar, that does put up some pretty new technology. Hell for a light bar. Well, Doug's been saying, get, get yourself a gosh dang Chevy. So. Oh, Doug's dumb. Doug's dumb. 
I'll tell oh, you what, this auctioneer hey. must be good at his job if he's getting this much money out of everybody. Oh, <laughs> <He's> good. <laughs> good payday for him. He's I'll like catch Bronco. you guys at the snack bar. I'm, I don't got anything. Look in here oh. is a 66 Ford Bronco all-terrain ride and drive oh, title oh, present. Oh. How about what are you going to pay for it? Oh. On a 66 Bronco there. How about a have out one down? How about one thousand? Let's play. How about seven fifty? One time five hundred. Anybody anywhere? Five five. How about two fifty? Give it away at that price. Two fifty now five. Two fifty five five. He would have made two fifty five five. He would have made now seven fifty. Need twenty two fifty to buy. Two thousand twenty two fifty. Anybody anywhere? Last chance. Fair final. Hands up and tie. And I have sold two thousand dollars. Sold two thousand dollars. Zero six zero the buyer. Zero six zero the buyer. Well, congratulations on that one, Clutch. I'll take that. That's a pretty good deal for this old thing. <laughs> That's a nice buy, Clutch. <laughs> what would you pay for, Clutch? Twenty two fifty. Is that what it was? That's not a bad buy. Two thousand. That's almost a steal. That That's that a pretty good over... deal. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. I might overpay you. Two thousand. I wasn't even coming here. You might have overpaid. Put my money in. There we go. I see how it is, Hank. You're just trying to drive me up in price. Not a bad hey, price. Hey, I gotta so, make you go broke somehow. This man. <laughs> well, I bought what I'm here that. for, so I'm good. <laughs> Here we go, on a Massey Ferguson, 7-Eleven, skittle under there. Perfect addition to your farm, ready to go to work. All it needs is a brand new owner. Yeah, but what are you going to pay for it? How about 500? 75 one last chance. Fair and final, hands up, hands high. 75 one and a half. Sold, $75. Sold, $75. Sir, what's your bidder number? Can't see it clearly right 69. there. Bidder number there. Zero, six, nine to buy her. Very nice. Nine to buy now, who would need this big Alice Chalmers? This thing's totally massive. Totally I could pull the bailer I got at home. <laughs> <laughs> if it sells for 75 bucks, I'll buy it. Buck can take it to date now. He can haul his lady in the back. <laughs> Are you sure I'm just not hauling you? <laughs> <laughs> you know, hey, Grant, there's a two-ton weight limit. You better not bid on this. <laughs> oh. All right. All right, let's turn some <coughs> on the Alice Chalmers for W305 big rig right there. Hop in the title in hand. What you gonna pay for? How about one down? Anybody anywhere? One down. 175 two quarter. 175 two quarter quarter. 225 five fifty. 225 fifty. He would have been. 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 He is that one for sale over there too? I, ju and I jumped in them. They both have 100 hours on them. D does anyone know if that one over there is for sale too? On my left, on my right, excuse me, with the 4950 right there. Like she said, brand new, just about only 100 hours. All it needs is a new owner. How about what are you going to pay for it? Holding a 4950. How much? How about what are you going to pay? How about one? How about one thousand? How about five hundred? How about five hundred? How about two fifty? Two fifty now five hundred. Two fifty five hundred. He put a bit. He put about two fifty five hundred. How about three? Two fifty one thousand now twelve fifty. Ninety six twenty five grand. Oh gee. Oh, twenty five grand. What the heck are you doing? Twenty five grand. Brand new. Wow. It's a seventy. 000, it's a sixty thousand dollar tractor. Brand new. Jeez. Front wheel assist. All right. Doing right. the work for me there. Twenty-five thousand now. I'm out. Twenty-five six six able to bid anybody anywhere. Twenty-five six. You want to smoke? Twenty-five <laughs> six six able to bid able to buy twenty-five six. Last ten fair and final won't sell it, but I will. Twenty-five now six and a half. Shoot. So twenty-five thousand dollars. Oh, so twenty-five thousand dollars zero. Nine, six the buyer zero nine oh, six the buyer there. Man, what are you guys thinking? These sell all day for forty. Yeah, uh, no, twenty-five thousand dollars, Grant. Yeah, come on. Oh well, wow. Well, there's a guy in, in uh, Missouri. I paid for my forty-four fifty. I think I paid close to forty-five grand for it, brand new. Yeah, you overpaid. And it, it wasn't even front wheel assist. Hey, wait a second. Well, you, you know wait, what? You pay sticker price. Yeah. 
Sticker price you know is what? sucker price. You a sucker, Grant. <laughs> You give me a call when you can't pay your mortgage anymore, and I'll I'll make a little bed for you to to sleep on the hood of your tractor or something. <laughs> <laughs> okay, boys, we got one more tractor identical. Let's see what this one goes for. On a forty-seven, fifty-five. How about what are you gonna pay hundred hours on this one too? How much? How about what are you gonna pay for it? How about one thousand dollars? How about one thousand? How about five hundred? How about five hundred? How about two fifty? How about two fifty? How about one hundred? How about one hundred? How about one hundred? How about fifty? How about fifty now? Hundred fifty now? Hundred fifty now? Hundred ten thousand? Ten thousand now? Eleven? Number ninety six. Eleven eleven able to be able to buy ten thousand eleven? Ten thousand eleven. Last chance. Ten five one time before we go. Two tractors. Ten thousand ten fifty. Because they're cheap. I'll flip this one. Ten thousand five hundred. Ten thousand five hundred now. So ten thousand dollars zero nine six yep, the buyer right zero nine six the buyer. Just building yourself up, bud. Does anybody want one? This one's for sale, forty grand. Oh, <laughs> wow. Wow. Hey, you're funny. No, I think I'm all right. One of these is gonna go for sale. What. Seriously, if anybody wants one after. You should take that tractor on down to Johnson's and McGregor and see if they'll buy it off of. You probably, probably. got it from McGregor. So probably just be like, uh, yeah, we sold that to the guy like <laughs> three weeks ago. <laughs> Probably. <clears throat> All right, well, we got one more. Two dualies on it. Plow set up. All right, um, folks. Last tractor of the day here on the Ford 9600 right there. Ah, but what are you going to pay for it? Ah, but what are you going to pay? How about 1000 How about 500 How about uh, 100 uh, Let's play. 150 now, 2222. Two, two, two. Able to bid, able to buy. 150 now, 2. 152. Last chance. Fair and final. 152. And I have. Sold one hundred fifty dollars. One hundred fifty dollars. Zero wow. three five. The buyer zero three five. The buyer. No one wanted her. Hmm. Huh. Well, I gotta say, I want there, Hank, you got a good deal on it. That's a good deal I on that. It. I'll probably rip those duels off and probably trade out my Alice Chalmer for it. That's a darn <laughs> good deal. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Well, yep. I got what I needed, so I'm gonna head out. I'll see you guys later. Okay. All right, folks. Last thing here. EMI 500 bushel gravity wagon. Here's what we're going to do. These four wagons are absolutely identical. Bought at the same time, used the same amount of time, not one without the other. So instead of selling the same wagon four times, we're going to sell it times the money. We're going to raise this bid as high as it'll go. What we will do then is ask the winning bidder when the hammer drives, how many of the gravity wagons do you want to buy? You can select one, two, three, or if you want all four, I am not going to stop you. After that, you will take your two times the money, hence the name. If it was 500 a piece and you bought two, you would pay 1000 plus the buyer's premium there. We'll sell the remaining two wagons in the same fashion. Any questions before we get going? Fantastic. All right. How about a whole other money? How about going to pay for it? Remember, folks, you're bidding on one of them. Right there. How much now? Five hundred. How about five hundred? How about four three two two two? How about two hundred? How about one hundred? How about one hundred now? Fifty. One hundred fifty. How about one hundred now? Fifty. Sixty nine. Now fifty. Now seventy five. Sixty nine. Seventy five. Two hundred. How about one seventy five now? Two. One seventy five. Two 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 two. How about now? Sixty nine. Now fifty fifty. How about two fifty? Two twenty five. How about two fifty now? Five. Two twenty-five fifty. Here for the bid. Here for the buy. Two twenty. Two twenty-five fifty. Last chance. Fair and final. Two twenty-five fifty. And I have sold two hundred twenty-five dollars zero six nine six. Do you want hmm. at two hundred and twenty-five dollars? Should should I, should I buy all four of them, Grant? Huh? <laughs> you could. Yeah. You, you definitely could. Uh, I think I just want one. All right. Just gonna take one there. I got three. Anybody want to pay $225, give you the same deal right now for any of the remaining three? I'll take two All for right. 225 Two for yeah, 225 I'll... there. Last one there. Anybody else at 225 Do we I'll sell it again? I'll that last one at 225 as well. That's fine. 225 Fantastic. All four gravity wagons sold there. 250 there. 6, 9, 225 times two is 450 And the last one there, zero, one, six is going to be... 225 as well ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for coming out today 
and supporting us here at the Living Estate Auction of Jim Davis, a, a man that has meant so, so much to this community. Like I said in the beginning, it's an honor and a privilege to be able to come here today and help him liquidate his farm and his equipment. Now, if you like what we do, you'd like us to come to your farm. We sell land, we sell equipment, we sell livestock. It doesn't matter. You give us a call, we'll be there. And like I said, absolute pleasure, pleasure to be here today. Y'all enjoy the rest of your afternoon. Well, I think uh, I did pretty well. I'm pretty happy with all that, guys. Yeah. Holy. Yep. That was pretty good. So, who spent the most money today? I think it's Grant. <laughs> Grant's for sure. Yeah. I'm going to take a strong well, guess. I think you. if any of you guys want another deer, I'm either going to sell that 4755 or that 4955. So, this is what we're left with out of all that. Now, this is actually the next day. All the guys came, got their equipment besides Jake. I think Jake bought, bought this uh, skid steer. So, he didn't bring that home. And I'm back to get this equipment, but I should have brought the semi. Okay, couple things, couple things we gotta run down through. First of all, this stuff was going so cheap. A John Deere 4955, you brand new, zero hours, you pay 50 grand, that's 50% off. And I paid 25 grand for the 4955 and 10 grand for the 4755. What? That, I know, 15 grand difference, it doesn't make sense, but either way, these prices were discounted so much, and those guys were just, I don't know. It just, I was like, I want to scream at them and be like, holy crap, these are cheap. Uh, but the wife may be a little mad at me for uh, purchasing so much stuff, but it came up cheap. Now, we don't need both of these. We don't need any of these, but I'm going to keep one of them. So, uh, well, it's basically, do we sell the 4955 or do we sell the 4755 is the question. Now, this Chevy. Doug was saying you gotta get yourself a gosh dang Chevy. So I bought a Chevy K30. You know, I'm gonna be honest, if it was just a normal Chevy K30 and it wasn't decked out like this, I would not have bought it. But it's got Fox suspension on it. It's got a light bar up there. It's got a flatbed. So we may, s it's got mud flaps with chains, dude. This is new technology right there. But uh, we may, s we may, I don't know. I'm going to be honest, we may sell the Ford. We may sell the Ford. Oh, this is just a perfect farm truck. Can haul anything, and then you can just go anywhere pretty much with it. Solid front axle. This thing's never going to break. Hopefully someday Chevy doesn't make independent front suspension. That would not be good. But uh, So I'm thinking if we keep one of them, if we keep one of them, maybe I should keep both of them, but if we keep one of them, I may, it may not be a bad idea to get a grain car. Because, man, first of all, we got to pick up acreage. If we keep one of these, we got to pick up acres to, to account for the cost, even though I paid pretty much nothing for it. Like, literally, I could sell the 4955 for 40 grand, and then that'd be 15 grand profit, and then this tractor only cost me 10 grand. So I literally just made five grand and got a free tractor. It's like, what the heck, you know? But, uh, but put your recommendation in on which one I should keep. 4955 or 4755. They're the exact same tractor, Besides horsepower difference. That's the only thing. So I'm going to jump in the 4755. We're going to hook up to the gravity wagons. And take the gravity wagons back. And then I may bring the semi back. So that I can load up the 4955. And then the K30. And get everything back here. Because I it's going to be a little tripping. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Now I've jumped in here and checked out the end here. But my end is she clean. Only 100 hours. I know. But oh my gosh. Let's turn the key over. She fires right up. Okay, we'll put her in gear. There we go. Now, oh, I just... This is going to be so nice. Now, I was thinking... Now, I mentioned this before, but... It may not be a bad idea to get a grain cart and have this become our grain cart tractor. Our planter tractor will of course be the 45 or the 40, 4550, 40, 4450 will be our grain cart tractor. Sorry, I always get messed up by that. But, or that'll be our planter tractor. But to have grain cart and maybe do some tillage, this thing is just absolutely gonna be a beast. Whether we run the 4955 or the 4755. And let me get out. Okay, we got the pin in, gravity wagon connected, and then I'm gonna pull forward and then try to back up and align this one. Now, I was really wanting to buy that Ford, the Ford, the Ford tractor there. I was like, dude, I really wanted to buy that, but at the moment, 
I think I just bought the 49.55 and the 47.55. So I was like, nope, we are good. Oh, shoot. I probably shouldn't be pulling across this lawn, too. Jim's, Jim's lawn here. Okay, so I'm going to get out and lift. Oh, shoot. We got to pull. Oh, shoot. We came back too far. We got to pull forward. Jump up. Put her in gear just a bit. Oh, there we go. We're good. Okay, now what I should be able to do, if I can lift this, just hurdle it between my legs. There we go. Come on. And hold on. Ah, shoot. Got to extend the tongue. There we go. That should be close enough. Okay. I got the pin in. She's hooked up. So DMI grabbed wagons. Now, I think we honestly will need another pair of gravity wagons. We'll see how things get. But maybe another pair, especially if we're around a grain cart, wouldn't be a bad idea. See if we can make this turn out of here. I think we'll be good. Yep. Looks like we're good back there. Okay, hazards on this tractor or... There we go. We got them going. Besides the gravity wagon. <laughs> oh, that's not a good sign. I didn't hook up any of the wiring, though. We should be good. And let's hit road gear. There we go. Downshift here. Yeah, so I'm thinking I'll just bring the semi back, most likely, instead of just driving, driving everything back and forth. It isn't too far from our farm, though. Shift up to road gear here. Now, this is a John Deere 4955, and I can hit, it looks like I'm hitting 26 mile an hour right now, top speed, which is insane. You guys gotta keep in mind, this is an 89. This is a tractor with a hundred hours on it. That's pretty much brand new. I feel like a little spoiled brat right now driving this tractor because man, I never thought it'd be in something this nice. So I need to really get, because we're going to be moving around these gravity wagons. You guys see what Hank had? I don't know if you guys saw that last episode, but he had a, a skid steer like ball that could, that could actually move around these wagons or pretty much any implements. It was so nice, dude. Having something like that, that'd be so nice to have on little Johnny. 4450, she's not going anywhere, guys. She's our planner tractor. Because now I gotta figure out where to put these gravity wagons. They're in pretty good shape. So I gotta, I almost wanna put them in storage, but we'll probably be using them until I can fit them back here. I think what I'm, I think what I'm gonna do is just drop them here and then eventually I'll put them back in here once I get a smaller tractor or the skid steer attachment or something. Because it is gonna be tough backing them in here, but I'd love to get them under shelter. Got the draw bar disconnected. And the 47.55. Oh man, you don't know how bad I want to just put this on the planter. Just go plant with it or something. But for now, I think what we'll do is just park it in the shed. It's so beautiful. Well, in order to get this tractor in here, I think we're going to have to move the planter. So I'll fire up the 44.50. So I'm going to take the semi truck, the old International Lodestar. We got to disconnect this trailer. I got to get this pin up. We got to get the company out here to put this up. Because there's no way I can do it myself. Also, we did buy a Westfield um, auger. I wanted one. I needed one. One came up good. So I purchased it. So, at least we have an auger. Because to move this grain, you need a gosh dang big auger. Especially with those gigantic bins. So we'll jump in the load star. Start her up. And then I already pulled the kingpin. So that should be detached. And then jacks her up. Yep. And we'll just keep on pulling out of there. Going, keep going, keep going. I think we should be good. There we go. She's locked. King pins in. Hydraulics, air brakes connected. Ready to go. So I'm hoping I can get both my trucks. This is my other pickup I drove here. It's still on the other side of the shed. Both my trucks up there. I don't know if I'm going to keep one truck. I'm honestly thinking about selling the Ford and just going with that Chevy for a while. Uh, but I'm hoping I can get both my trucks and the tractor up there. We'll see. But look at this thing. Chevy K30. Oh, let's jump in her. Oh, she sounds so good. Okay, we're gonna go up. And then try to get her pretty much all the way up here. Keep going. I don't think I had to do it like this. There we go. And then now, I think I'll put the tractor in the middle. It'll kind of be a lot of weight on that semi, but I think that's the best way to do it. 
or actually maybe the tractor in the rear because these axles slide all the way back here so that way we put a lot of the tractor weight on the rear of the trailer i don't know guys i'm just thinking i love this ford man if i had a hired hand i'd love to give the hired hand this or or maybe i drove this in a hired hand ah, i don't know i absolutely love this truck though don't get me wrong the color scheme on that chevy oh, it's on point garlic with the army green so good well it looks like we're not going to be able to fit everything on and i need to get that tractor home so for now i'm just going to leave the truck here and i'll come back for the truck later i guess so i think most likely we're going to sell the 4955 she's going to be put up for sale we just don't need this big tractor it's much horse 4755 will do just fine put her in gear it is going to suck getting rid of these tractors Okay, we'll pull her around and just slowly come up here. Let me shift down. There we go. This should work. This is a lot of weight. And keep climbing. There we go. I'd say we're good. Hydraulics are going back, and then these wheels should slide back. Well, we made it back. We got them back. So the Chevy K30, I got to load off, and then the 4955. Got a load off too. So I do want to give out a shout out to Sam for helping us. Sam was the auctioneer. Uh, his full name is Sam Thomas. Uh, with, and he's with Randolph Chalmers Auction Group. So for any of you guys, in case you're in Virginia, in case you're in Fredericksburg, Virginia, he's got an auction coming up on March 22nd. I'll put the link down below in case you're interested. It's an estate auction. Uh, but I definitely wanted to give him a shout out for him because he put a lot of time in. He's got a crazy voice. It was pretty cool having him in there. So I'll put the link down below uh, to his auction. So... Thanks for watching, guys, and hey, I'll see you guys later.